What's up guys, it is the 16th of December 2016. Um, it is near Christmas and the end of the year, so happy holidays to everyone. I got myself a Christmas present, early one. We actually got quite a few stuff to do with the car, but I'm gonna attempt things one by one, and the first one is the most exciting one because it's one step closer and very close to what I want the car to look like on the exterior. I just got back from the paint shop, um, got this guy. Bought this not too long ago off a friend. Um, on a stock bumper, which I wanted real bad. Uh, and kind of just had to get a respray. Obviously my color is not a Mazda color, so finding one in my color is basically impossible. Um, just got a respray at Georgia Smash Repairs. They did a great job. Um, you can see the finish is amazing and he actually did fix some of the kind of um, damages that the front bar has, some stretch marks and stuff, so it's gonna look brand new. The only problem was that it did have a G GV lip, which I wanted as well. Um, uh, I said not to paint it and leave it in the plastic color, uh, but he did paint it. I think he just forgot. So he's painting it back to black again um, this afternoon. You got to pick it up, um, which is a good thing actually because for him to paint it, he had to kind of um, fix all the damages that the lip had anyway. So I'm going to get it back with amazing condition. So uh, I've never seen how to actually replace uh, from bumper before. Um, this is going to be a first. So. Let's have a crack. You know I have to get these out first and get the bulbs and um, things disconnected so the bumper can go free. Uh, gotta get the license plate off. Uh, there's a seal and bracket up here guys. Um, this seal is kind of connected with a bracket inside there. There's a few bolts. I know that I have to take headlight out. You get extra some of the bolts and also I'm pretty sure there's a few bolts behind here in the tire so let's do that and find other bolts that I don't know about pretty excited to put this on getting the lip and putting it back on and see how it looks Six hours later. Alright, a few hours later and we're still at it. Well, I'm still at it. I couldn't do it, so I got help. Steve's down there now. Hello. And Kay is just watching YouTube. But he's here, moral support. Um, just have one more bolt, and it's just the one bolt that I can't get out. After that, the thing will be off. The whole, this whole time, I'm trying to get, I can't see it. I'm trying to get, there's a bolt here that I was trying to get off. Turns out, it's actually not part of anything, it doesn't hold anything, and I've just been doing nothing. So now we're trying to get the other side out and we're good to go after that. The thing is with all the stuff that needs to be taken off for the front bumper, it's not hard, it's just really finicky. Um, the wheel wells and like the arch and the plastics and the guards underneath the car kind of get in the way. Uh, the headlights get in the way if you have a low profile like me. Um, everything gets in the way really. In case here, just for moral support. Um, yeah, he's missing out on his chances to level up on Division. Letting everyone catch up. Just letting Nick catch up and Vic, because they suck. They're still in Brooklyn. Okay. Got the front off. Hey Franklin, what's your nose? Alright, so these two bolts coming out of the bumper had the nut on the other side on the fender. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Bumper, same bolt, same holes. Should be a pretty easy fit. But this one looks so much better. I don't know what these are called, but putting the new ones on because the other one was shit. I don't know how to put it on. Thinking to put the lip on so it's easier because it's quite hard to put the lip on at the bottom of the bumper when the bumper's on. Not really that hard, it's just harder. Put the lip on, put the bumper on, and we're good to go. Finally done. I thought it was gonna take 
a little bit, but it ended up taking a long time. Um, really struggled with the clips and everything with the front bumper. Really thank you to NK and Steve um, for helping me out, finally getting this job done. Really keen to see how it looks um, tomorrow morning in the daylight and probably hopefully um, take some video shoots of it um, in the daylight to see it. It's looking really nice right now. I really love it. Um, the only thing is the paint seems a little bit darker on the bumper. Again, problems with color matching, especially with the car not there, but um, hopefully it's not too distinct in daylight. And yeah, I'm hoping really look good. So long. Sorry, Irene. Okay, next day. <sighs> Yesterday uh, ended at about 2 a.m. Um, thanks to Ricky and Steve for actually getting the job done. Still bits and pieces to go, but at least it's on. Wow, look at that dog, it's massive. <laughs> that is massive. Okay, I guess I should show the dog. Okay, now I can continue with my vlog. Um, time to see what it looks like during daylight. So, a bit worried about the colour, but also pretty excited. some kind of shot so you show you guys what it looks like with the soft bumper on really happy with it the color turns out really nice um, it's a little bit darker than uh, the rest of the body but I mean it's not that bad you can't really see it and it looks pretty pretty cool um, and I'm really loving the look uh, <coughs> the only problem that I have is some fitment issues again with the tires now it's knocking on the lips so got to fix that but I mean the car is well underway um, to what I want Fuck, flies to what I want to look like um, so I'm really happy about that so again thank you for Nariki and Steven coming over and helping it out <sighs> it looks really good um, next episode in the vlogs um, I will have some stuff to install some parts some maintenance parts so stay tuned for that um, thanks for watching guys see you next time